Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, from the house of the Lord. We bless you. Our reading for today is found in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 7, verses 13 through 14. Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. The two ways is the title of this sermon. The picture which is given here is not that of a choice. The Bible is very clear in teaching us to choose life. Now choose life so that you and your children may live. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19. The Lord is giving a picture of a funnel. If you enter the funnel at the broad end, it will narrow down until you come to destruction, death, and hell. But if you enter the funnel at the narrow part, you will find Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. John chapter 14 and verse 6. The longer you walk with Christ, the wider it gets. Chapter 47 of Ezekiel speaks of a river flowing out from the throne of God, which began as a little stream and widened out until it became a great river. That pictures the life of a child of God. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding becomes a clear path to the will of God. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. John chapter 7, in verse 38. The longer we walk with Christ, the more we grow in his knowledge and in his grace through his Holy Spirit. 2 Peter chapter 3, in verse 18. There are two kinds of people on earth that are walking on two roads. These two roads do not lead to the same place, but they lead to God. Judgment is coming. The world is divided into two kinds of people, the saved and the unsaved, those who follow the Lord Jesus Christ and those who follow Satan. The Lord is calling out to everyone to come to salvation. The Lord Jesus divides people into two groups, the wise and the foolish builder. One builds his house on the rock, which represents Christ. That builder is wise. The other builds his house on the sand, which represents unbelief. No foundation. That builder is a fool. Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 to 27. Except the Lord built the house, they labor in vain. Psalm 127 and verse 1. Jesus spoke of how he will, at the last judgment, separate the people of all nations into two groups, the sheep and the goats. Matthew 25, verses 32 to 33. The sheep to the right into the kingdom of God, the goats to the left into the lake of fire. God is a just God, and this is serious business. So when Jesus pictures the two gates, the two builders, or the sheep separated from the goats, he has included all human beings. Each one of us falls into one of those groups. The question arises, in which group are you? The Bible says that many are called or many are invited, but few are chosen. Matthew chapter 22 and verse 14. Why are few chosen? Because not many people are willing to deny themselves, carry the cross daily, and follow Jesus. Luke chapter 9 and verse 23. Salvation is for all who are willing to believe in Jesus' sacrifice and his resurrection. The word narrow means difficult. 
It is the nature of humanity to choose what is easy, not what is hard. Surely, the Christian life is a worthy challenge that brings a wonderful reward. The narrow way refers to the gospel way of living. In the early times, Christians were called the way. Acts chapter 19, verse 9 and 23. Walking the narrow way means making an absolute and total commitment to Jesus Christ, to obey Him, to love Him, to depend on Him, to worship Him, to surrender all. There is a way which seems right to a man, but in the end is a way of death. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 25. My friend, there is only one way to eternal life. Jesus. May the name of the Lord be praised now and forevermore. Amen.